An exhibition called The Return and Recreation of Yongle Encyclopedia has opened to the public in the National Library of China in Beijing. And the newly established Yongle Encyclopedia Research Center is expected to conduct a more comprehensive study on the compilation, restoration, photocopying and publishing of this 613-year-old book. The Yongle Encyclopedia, also known as Yongle Dadian, is one of the most valuable cultural heritages in Chinese history. It is also the largest known encyclopedia in the world. The original version comprised 22,937 manuscript rows or chapters in 11,095 volumes with 50 million Chinese characters. Today, there are only 400 existing volumes, 800 rows, as well as some fragments. The exhibits include nine volumes published about 500 years ago and donations from overseas Chinese and organizations in the past decades. We'll continue to explore the cultural value of the encyclopedia by means of advanced technology. We also want to help ordinary Chinese get to know more about our own culture and history through this great book. The largely lost Yongle Encyclopedia was commissioned by the Yongle Emperor of the Ming Dynasty in 1403 and completed by 1408. 七点 CGTN